Peace family, um, I have a little guilty pleasure. Um, I do a lot of things right, but I have to admit I do follow a lot of the reality shows. And it helps me keep up with what's important and what folks are talking about, you know, outside of my little bubble um, with me, you know, gardening and, and doing my herbs and working with my clients and everything. But it kind of helps keep me current. So have you been watching Atlanta Housewives? I've been following Atlanta Housewives since probably the second season or third season. I was a little late getting into it, but, you know, I've been watching it lately. And I have to give a Go Mama award to Miss Phaedra Parks. And let me tell you why. So the last episode, she was pumping breast. She was pumping breast milk, like, throughout the whole episode. And... It's just dope. It's really, it's really cool to see that on TV. Um, so with her first son, Aiden, I was aware that she breastfed him. I'm not sure how long she breastfed him, but she gets another Go Mama Award for that. And so for this episode that she's coming, she's filming with the ladies, she's interacting with the ladies, but it's just sort of this running topic of her constantly having to, to pump her milk for her baby. I absolutely loved when she said on the bus and they were on their way to from one from one location to the next. And so she's sitting there, she's got her pump on, she's interacting with the lady, she's got, you know, she's just a mom. She's got so much going on, she's still pumping her milk. And and so they're like, Well, why are you even pumping? You know, he's not even here. And she says something like, you know, I have to give the best to my baby. I have to give the best chocolate milk to my baby. And it's so dope because it's obvious that. Phaedra realizes that her breast milk is the very best for her child. It's obvious that she realizes that in terms of brain development, in terms of children who are breastfed, breastfed having higher IQ, in terms of her babies not getting sick, Phaedra is obviously aware of all of that stuff because she has prioritized breastfeeding her children regardless of being an attorney, regardless of being a wife, in addition to being a television a personality, in addition to all the different ventures she has going on with her funeral home and funeral business and DVDs and workouts and her appearances and, and everything, she's really prioritized giving the best to her son, Dylan. Um, so it's really, it's just, it's just awesome. And the interesting thing also that happened on the show, so when Kenya made the comment of like, why would you even be, you know, pumping this milk? Your son is not even there. And it was like this dodo bird moment, like everybody's trying to chime in and try to teach her like, well, if you don't pump the milk, then you're not, you're going to stop making milk. And and for all of them who, you know, I guess everybody on the, on the bus, except for Kenya had been a mom, but I'm not, I don't have any children myself. Obviously I know that, but it's just really, it's just really kind of, to me, a little bit hypocritical. Because that's sort of common knowledge as a woman. You have to pump, you have to release the milk in order to continue to make the milk. But then she went in on Portia regarding Portia not knowing, you know, the, the things about the Underground Railroad. The Underground Railroad wasn't a real railroad. It was a network. And so she just really, really hammered and laid in on Portia regarding that. Granted, maybe Portia should have known the information. But I feel like it's always obvious things that we should know. It's always something that... No matter how much you know, something's going to slip through the cracks. So it's really, really common knowledge that if you're breastfeeding your child, you have to continue to empty out your breasts. And Kenya didn't know that. So for her to go in on Portia, I felt like, mm, that's not really fair. You know, we all it's all things that we don't know. And it's like, if somebody doesn't know something, just educate them and move on. You know, you don't have to berate them and really go in because it's something that they didn't know. Because that was something that Kenya didn't know. And all... And all the ladies were able to chime in and let her know about that. But I'm proud of Phaedra. I think it's beautiful to see. Um, I think it's beautiful to see celebrities and people who are in the limelight breastfeeding because black women are breastfeeding, and it's important that women who have the spotlight show how can it be done in your life. Because life is not going to stop because you're breastfeeding your child. Phaedra has 
more going on than the average woman. And so if she can successfully exclusively breastfeed her children, it's something that can be done. And it's really very inspirational for other mothers, other women who are considering being, being mothers, or other women who are connected, other people who are connected to mothers, to show them and encourage them that, yes, you can do it. Look at Phaedra. Phaedra gets a Go Mama Award from Root Mama. And because of her commitment to breastfeeding her children. It's just so beautiful to see her do that. It's, it's really awesome.